Good afternoon from Essoura, the windy city of Morocco. We are currently on the last day of our 17 day road trip with G Adventures and this morning we took the three hour drive from Takazut to Essoura and it is a uh, it's definitely windy. 300 days of sunshine, but also 300 days of wind. I don't think I have ever heard that. And on the way, we checked out some very unique <laughs> experiences with Argonaut. We first checked out the ladies that are producing it, a women only run business actually, and then saw some interesting characters in a tree. We have just stopped on the highway on the way to Eswara and oh my God. My highlight of Morocco has just been made. I've seen pictures of this online, but I didn't think it was real. I am looking at a tree full of goats. Oh my God, Gary! This is insane. How do they even, how do they balance like that? Oh my God, oh my God, they are crazy. Gary! Oh my God, Gary, how'd you get up there? Yo, what is Gary doing? Molly, what is Gary doing? How did you get up there? So basically they actually get up on the trees. This can be done naturally. They get up here because they want to eat the argan leaves and then it makes a spectacle <laughs> like this. Highlight of Morocco. This is the best day ever. This is the craziest thing ever. They're making the cutest little noises and uh, they're balancing so well, bless them. Down, Gary. Can come down? Come down. Oh, I have a friend. It's did, um, did smelly. Did you catch it? Yeah, I caught it from the tree. It's um, a little bit smelly, but it's very, very cute. Look, his little head resting on me. Hi, Gary. Take care. We're actually staying in the heart of the Medina, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and it's also known as the Bride of the Atlantic because the buildings are white. It seems as though the white and blue theme it's is following us, us everywhere. everywhere with Tagazu as well. Um, and it's a very pretty town, but as Matt said, it is also very, very windy. I'm feeling for your fringe. This feels much more like a European city. It does. We're actually just walking up the, uh, the hill of the rampart, which was actually the walls of the city. Um, and it's very, very busy. I don't know why. I haven't seen anywhere but Marrakesh being like super, super busy. This is very, very busy. I'm assuming because it's a lot cooler. It's windy. And you can go to the beach. It's a two for one. You get a city and a beach. Beach cities are the best. I was not is the rampart that was built in the 17th century to protect the port from raiders and you can actually see the purple, rarest purple fairest islands. Um, apparently there's a prison on it, it's well, not used in to use. Be one. I mean I would definitely like to send Matt over there but it's not in use unfortunately. It just looks so pretty, like look at the blue sea and you've just got all of the ocean in front of you. Um, it's a great view. When they said windy, I was not expecting this. My hair is doing all sorts of things today, but we arrived a little bit late, so we need to get an early stroke late lunch so we can see as much as we can in a few hours. It's pretty cool. Some great views from up there. You've got the cannons, the history, and it's in such good condition still today, which is really nice to see. And it's cool to have the sea, then the rampart, then the Medina, sort of like all in one, combining the three together. It's very unique. Did you buy it? Oh my god, I love it! I don't think I'm very good at it though. I don't actually know what it's called. Moroccan, yeah, a Moroccan drum. drum it's very loud, thing? isn't it? Do you want one? <laughs> what is this called? What is the name of this? I mean, I'm telling this uh, drum. It's a drum? drum. What's ah. the Moroccan name for a drum? Tam Tam. Tam Tam. I want one. This is so good. Everything that he is selling here in this box is 10 dirhams. So like one American dollar, less than a pound. Thank you, shukran. shukran. So we take two? Thank take you. Two. I love them. Shukran. Lovely to meet you. Bye. Bye. Oh my God, I absolutely love that. 10 dirham for one. And they are the best. We've got I'm one now, each. So what Ready? are they called? shopping again. I can't deal with the souvenirs. It's like the best place for them. 
Shukran. Shukran. Honestly, everybody is so, so friendly. And being that it is our last day, we've kind of just wandered around and thought, oh, we could do with that, we could do with that. So we picked up our magnet, we have our you tong tongs. Get, tong tongs? Tong yeah, tongs? I think that's what they are. You've got to get your magnet on your last we day. We literally collect magnets. I can't tell you how many we have. Um, but I love the souvenirs here. This, I think I would take home everything, but there's not enough space. I'm fine if I'm really genuine. Like, yeah. so much more yeah, genuine yeah, yeah. here. It feels more real than yeah. some of the other places. It's, and the souvenirs are much nicer. <laughs> Shukran. Say her. Say her. Oh my god, this this looks amazing. And then, that's not too bad either. We found Taros, this like rooftop terrace restaurant just by the main square, which we will check out afterwards with the view of the beach, the sea, um, and I can keep a watch from up here with a draft flag. But that isn't the main reason we came here. It's I came not. for a certain something <laughs> that is on the menu. Before our food comes, I've had to come up even higher. I've realised they've got another terrace here and the views so they're even better than at the rampart whole main square you've got the fisherman's village in the distance i can see some islands and this place is so cool apparently it turns into like a nightclub at night it's got a cafe down the bottom it's got five different bars in one i mean it'd be quite hard for me to leave here look at this place great find if you're in Esaura, you definitely know where to come so this is the reason I came in here. No, this is not your typical margarita. For this week only, we actually found out that they are doing a camel cheese pizza. I mean, it looks exactly the same to me, but um, we've heard this area, we've heard Esaura, is famous for camel cheese, so... Um, Go on, I need your review. This is hilarious. How do you even make camel cheese? <laughs> No I one. need a rating out of 10. It's different. It's a little bit bitter. It's a little bit sour. But it sort of worked. Camel cheese. That was definitely needed after last night's antics in Tagazu. And I feel like I've got the energy to explore the rest of the city. And the camel cheese was a... Uh, it was a winner. It was sour, which was strange. I wasn't expecting it to be sour, but it was, um, I don't know, it sort of worked. Come and try it, but I don't know, they might not do it. They said it's only doing it for a week, so try and find some camel cheese when you come to Eswara. But that was the main square. We've literally just walked through the main square. It's not quite the main square of Marrakesh. Um, I mean, there's a few people out and about doing their thing, singing, doing a little show. Um, we're now walking from the main square to the fishing village, which is sort of the iconic thing to see, to do in Eswara. I'm hoping that they're back because they go out for the day. And if they're still out right now, there's going to be no boats and this is going to be rubbish. is very intense once you go through the gates into the main fisherman village you come across all the catch from the day um, there's certainly some things here that they're selling that I mean there's other fish that can be eaten rather than some of the fish here but it's crazy to see all the fishermen I think have literally just got back with their catch and there's pretty much every species you can think of have you ever seen so many fishing boats in one spot? No, never. And they literally are, probably have just come back and it is very, very hectic. Like you can see the men jumping from boat to boat to boat with all of their fish. You can even see the seagulls that have managed to catch a fish themselves. Um, this is very, very crazy. It's, it's the like only so word. beautiful with the blue <laughs> and then this chaos just chucked in with it. Pure chaos. 
I had to get changed after that. It was um, interesting, but so, so intense. We've now kind of walked along the beachfront, and this is actually one of the nicer beaches that we've seen in Morocco. The sun is just starting to go down, and all the way along, there's like umbrellas for people to sit at. Obviously, still a bit windy, um, but you have a promenade that you can walk all the way around to, and we're hoping to find a beachfront bar just to have a drink and watch the sun go down. This feels very different to anywhere else we have been in Morocco. A promenade lined with palm trees. It actually feels very European and walking around you'll see there's quite a lot of expats living here which probably goes back to the 60s when the hippies originally came here and even Jimi Hendrix visited and there's supposedly quite a few murals around um, but as it is our last night on the tour we are hoping to find a nice beach bar and then we are going to have dinner with the rest of the group. I feel like there's a slight sandstorm going on here. We have definitely found the part of the beach that we were looking for. You have a few beach clubs here and restaurants. You have camels. You always need you know a camel. You, that's what you want to do. You want to go to the beach club and then on the way home you take the camel. <laughs> so to get in a taxi you take a camel. Cheers. Cheers. This is the strangest beach I think I've ever seen, but it's the coolest thing to look out on ever. You've got the island in the distance that used to be a prison. You've got camels, you've got cowboys, you've got sand dunes, you've got the sunset setting over the island with the camels, the cowboys, cowboys. and the sound and the sand dunes all all like immersing themselves together. But we've come into where have we come into? We've come into beach and friends and they do a great a really great draft beer. It's their last night with a group, it's really sad. Cheers, Cheers guys, Yay. to the last night. Woo. What time? Dinner time. I can't believe this is gonna be our last dinner with the group. Our CEO has found Il Mare, the restaurant with the most amazing view. We have a gorgeous sunset, um, but live music, it's all going off in here. Um, and I'm so sad. Good morning from Marrakesh. Beseha. Beseha. This is unbelievable. It's a little bit chilly. Welcome to our plunge pool. Welcome back. 